I'm going to show you how to navigate to the website and build a custom menu using your mobile device. To begin, go to 5dinners1hour.com and click Login. From there, you will enter the credentials that you set up during the checkout process. After you're logged in, it will take you to the member dashboard. From here, you can see any current bundles that might be available. You can click Build My Custom Menu to start adding recipes to your menu. You can click Download Made For You Menu and that will take you to the monthly menus that are already laid out for you week by week. Member Resources will take you to these tutorial videos as well as Frequently Asked Questions. If there are any monthly bonuses out, you can click on Monthly Member Bonus to access those. And then there's also a link to our Amazon store, and the bottom has a link to manage your account information. To begin adding recipes to your custom menu, click Build My Custom Menu. And from there, you will see the subscriptions that you currently have here at the tabs at the top. The bundles and favorites will take you to any bundles that you have purchased as well as your favorites folder. So if you click on that, that will give you the options that you have. If you've purchased any bundles, you can click on those from there or you can click on favorites to access your favorites folder. Once you're ready to start building your menu, you can either just start scrolling down to see the recipes or you can click one of these tabs to scroll to a certain type of recipe. So we're going to start with clean eating. Right from there with the green button, you can click the green button to access the made for you menus, which are laid out for you already week by week, or you can scroll down to see all the recipes and begin adding the recipes that you would like to your custom menu. Here at the top of the recipes are filters. You can filter by meat type. You can filter by kid favorite. If you want freezable meals, you can filter by freezable. And to get back to all the menus, all the recipes, just click all. So from here, you can click on a specific recipe to see what ingredients are used and what the cooking instructions are. And you can also print a single recipe by clicking the, the print symbol in the recipe itself. You can go ahead and change the serving size right here on the recipe, which will change the quantity of your ingredients. Or you can do that later on once you've clicked on your custom menu. You can also go ahead from here and click the plus sign to add it to your custom menu. And you can click the heart sign and that will add it to your favorites folder. So I'm going to begin adding some more recipes to our custom menu. When you're on this screen, you might have to double tap to make sure that it's added. And once the plus button has turned gray, you know it's been added to your menu. When you're done adding recipes to your custom menu, Click on View My Custom Menu there at the top. And from there, you can see any recipes that have been added to your custom menu. Here, you can change the serving size to any number. The recipes are written in for six people, so they do work better in increments of three, but you can change it to any number. You can also delete a recipe from your menu by clicking the trash can symbol, or you can rearrange the recipes by clicking the green line. You can click and drag it to rearrange them in any order. Below the list of recipes is your grocery list divided by section of the store. And from here, if you already have an ingredient, you can click the box and that will exit out for you. So you know you don't need to get that at the store. Now you can either print your menu or you can save it. So we're going to start by printing. So click Print Menu, and that will bring it up in PDF form. It'll bring up your print screen. You can select your printer and click Print. If you do not want to print, press Cancel. 
And then from here, you can save as a PDF. On the iPhone, click on the box with the arrow at the very bottom, and then click Save PDF to iBooks. And that will save it right to your phone with the grocery list and the recipes that you selected. If you don't want to print or save at that moment, you can go back and you can click Save Menu. And this way you can view that menu from any device, not just the device that you created it on. So to save that menu to, to view it on any device, click Save Menu. And that will save it to your menus folder. Later on, when you want to access that menu, you can press My Saved Menus. And that will bring up any menus that you've saved. So the one that I just saved is right here at the top. And then from there, if you want to delete it, once you've clicked on it, press Delete Menu.